game even started. Before jump ball, if you sit down and have a conversation, it was a long time ago. It took a whole lot of, it ain't been too many kids like a J. Michael Reese that can come in and join any team like a, like, like a Dion Houston that can leave from another city, Bryan College Station, Dallas, come to another city and come to a team on the day of a game and you have a conversation about what you run and say we doing X, Y, Z. We do this on offense. We do this on defense. We do this when the team press and the rest of the team warming up. But I know these three motherfuckers you can have this conversation with them while they're tying up their shoes. I'm the one else that you might not know if Jules and Randy can do that shit too. Yes, sir. Anybody. That's yeah. true. Sorry about that, Paul. But, but the, that kid is that good. Now, the rest of these kids, I, I don't know if they know basketball like that. And I'm not knocking, knocking, knocking Kendrick because I love that kid. But Doc is good. Doc is that I, good. I have never He's said throwback he that good. He's, he's smart, and, and whatever school that he goes to play for, hopefully he get the opportunity to play. I've been under that already. Then, 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 Help for any NCAA D1, and he's and, and and this kid can play on that level and should be in that conversation. If Kim, if if if, if Quentin Grimes is in that conversation, then goddamn it, Doc should be in that conversation. What's wrong with Grimes? I kind of like what I'm talking about. Marlon, you, you got me out of here. Hold on, hold on. The mic is here. The mic is here. The mic is here. Yeah, oh, you, yeah. You, it's twelve o'clock at night, and you ain't saying shit. You on a sitting bag? I need to hear what you got to say. That's why I put this question out there. Ain't no time for the podcast, man. Yes. It's like when, you know, it's like you're wearing a fur coat on TV. Typically, don't got no time. He got, uh, yeah, got a fur coat on. Got with no it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. TV ain't got no temperature. <laughs> podcast ain't got no time. So, Kendrick Davis is with Texas property. Yeah. Man, I want to see y'all play Showtime. Mm. I you, hey, oh, I'll tell, tell you what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Yeah, that Levy I'll tell, tell you exactly, tell you what, exactly what happened in that game. Yeah. If Texas Pro matched up with Dallas Showtime, okay. it would be a close game until about the nine minute mark. No, it'll, be a, it'll be a close game throughout. But the winning team, the winning team right. would be Dallas Showtime okay. because they're tougher, they're rougher, and those guys are gonna are not gonna run from Kendrick Davis. A lot of kids in the city. How many points do you think they win by? Because Low looking at Low looking like he wasn't gonna say that. He ain't gonna win by that much. Low looking at Low looking like he wasn't gonna say that. He ain't 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 no, 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 listen, we, we gonna listen. We're gonna take that question. We're gonna take that question and we're gonna finish this. I don't this know who you are, brother, but that was a damn good, good <laughs> question you got. That's probably hey, the best one hey, the HS Cole Fools. LeVon, let me not afraid of Kendrick. Cause I'm huh? LeVon, let me not afraid of Kendrick. He ain't afraid of no one. It, he, it, so 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 that that right there is canceled out. So everybody else, you better be right, big so, time. So the next question, Alex, and I'm like, why is that? Yeah, yeah. Some teams are just soft like that. Yeah. Like, because I, I said the same thing. Because in Houston, we still train. We don't really play. In Houston, we still train. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you know, Combs, Combs don't Davis. punch back. Uh, Combs, the, and I ain't going to say blame it on John. No, I'm not just saying John. But I'm going to start naming In Houston, we still train. We it ain't, it's not a ton of John, play. John, my boy, though. I love John. Absolutely. So, 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 when it's okay. so, so. I think everybody that know me, everybody that know me know if it if it's a game between Houston and Dallas, I'm going Dallas every time, every time. And he knows it. So What's that that high school hope No, talking about he gonna the All right, leave leave uh, state game. So I, I go back to the I go back to state's original question. What he asked? That was me. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Won't be no reps all the night, baby. That's exactly what I'm saying. So, so Texas Pro loses to Showtime. What's your name, dude? 
What's your oh, point spread? Oh, oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point spread? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that you said it's gonna be close to about the nine. I did, if, if, if I had to go with a point spread, I would put it at eight. You would put it at eight. I put it at eight. Wait, what's that? I mean, they always talk about black folks don't talk about analytics and numbers and shit like that. <laughs> okay. They, I mean, because A level. I mean, it, a might, level it might be worse than that. Today it might be worse than that. From the jaws of victory. Because we had them down. Short of a six man for the first time. Did y'all beat him? Well, I mean, we lost. Yes or no? We lost about four. Then what are we talking about? Hold on, I'm just saying. Another Houston team loses to a Dallas team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We lost the show. It always happens. No, no, no. I'm not good with that. I'm not good with losing to a Dallas team. For your premise. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying your premise of saying that Showtime is that much better more than Texas. More than Dallas teams that beat you. Urban. Last one was uh, Brandon. Was it was Urban. The last Dallas team. Last year, yes, sir. Other than that Super Squad, that was a Super Squad head. That was last year. Last year, like 2015. So the idea that Houston teams always lose to Dallas teams is a myth. When the last time you played a Dallas team? When the last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you yeah, played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Last time you played a Dallas team? Hold on, hold on. I mean, let's just call it what it is. Whether it's high school basketball, whether it's AAU basketball, if it's a Dallas team versus a Houston team, I think everyone in the state knows who's going to win. Why? Because that Dallas toughness is real. I, I'm so you I'm saying Dallas teams on only win. You are saying Dallas teams because are beating? It, hold on. You saying Dallas teams are beating the Yates and y'all tough schools that y'all got because they're tough. You really believe I'm gonna, it? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna get on board with <laughs> Alex. When winning, when winning but matters most, right? uh, they at, think we basketball toughness, they recruit and, and, that and, and basketball I'm toughness. Oklahoma kids be as far as closing a game, as far as really putting it in the basket and closing a game, basketball toughness. Yes, Dallas kids are tougher because Dallas kids actually play and compete more. Yeah. There's gyms where Dallas kids play nonstop. Houston kids ain't playing like that. Tell me where the gym is. I don't know. I don't live in Dallas. But you but, just, but you made a statement like you live in Dallas. Come on, 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 come where do they go play? My brothers have to come out here and make things up. Hold on. Pretty much at the high schools. But the high schools are still there with you. So you telling me in Houston the high schools aren't open? I'm telling you. I'm telling you in Houston, kids aren't playing. That's what I'm telling you. You know what? Let me let me say something right here. Are you from Houston? I am. I'm a strong advocate of the 2016 class. Everybody knows that. I, I, I spend a lot of my time as a coach wondering how the hell we're going to beat the Houston defenders on right to wow. the back. No, because they were killing everybody. You remember the Battle of the Big City? But everybody kept saying Remember the Battle of the Big everybody, City? What city? Remember we, we did the Battle of the Big Cities? It, it, it doesn't reveal. When I did the, the 2016, 2016? 20, it was the 2016. What year was junior high. But that's when they were all split up, coach. I I'm know, talking about when they had Fox. But you just said, okay, 2016. Yeah. You say you're a fan of 2016, but from junior high all the way up to now, right. those kids have been 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 battling, and it's been it's been tough teams. They've been battling. Texas, yes sir. I'm yes, not sir. trying to be funny. I was 30. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't, not at all. Because <laughs> he, he, and I'm not mean to disrespect, but I'm talking about. I'm 46. Uh huh. How old are you, Paul? 48. 45. Oh, See, we. <laughs> So y'all have seen where was Houston was dominant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all are talking about recently, this over the over the the, the 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 history between Houston and Dallas. Yeah, but I'm talking, I don't think it's I don't think it's more. Well, yeah, I mean, you this, about this, about I, this, this is what I this is what I'll say. Absolutely, because over the they they owned talk, us over the last couple. If of years. you want to talk high school basketball, I believe the coaches that have made it to the state championship games, they've just been better coaches. Not better teams, just better coaches. Because like Dollar is probably one of the best coaches, one of the best coaches in the country. Brackle played North Crown, one of the best coaches in the country. Like these dudes can coach. So I think what it happens is 
like for like for DeSoto, their best two players has always played together, but not in the summer. They ain't played together in the summer since I don't know what I don't know about. That's how Roach and Jarrett. Yeah, sixth grade. But but when they get on the court, when you have a player like you talked about, that point guard that's vocal, that can talk, they can do all that. When you have certain pieces and you have a hell of a coach with a plan, everything. Or time lately you gonna win. Absolutely. And and you can't stay in um, no disrespect to to Coach Wise and, and his philosophy and pressing. But you can't stay in the same thing. I won a game the other week where in the huddle I told my dudes, every three possessions down, we're gonna change the defense. Yeah. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do this for three plays. And, and that's part of the problem. Like kids are, everyone can score in transition. Right. But in the half court, when it's right. five one five, right. and it's pressure situations mm-hmm. because that clock is winding down. Mm-hmm. Like when it's time to let your nuts hang and get a real bucket, but that's that's being Classic. prepared. Classic. It's being prepared. It's You're not. It's not right. just toughness. Okay. Toughness comes when being that guy that I don't care if I miss or make it. Yeah. See, that's what you talking about. I'm getting toughness is I'll take the last second shot. I might miss it, but I'm gonna take it. That's toughness. But how can he get that shot? If if, if, if I've been dominating you all night defensively. Cause we all gotta put us a set, put something in where I get a basket, man. Help me get a basket. One hundred. And I think that's what happens a lot of times. Guys get out coached, and I tell people all the time: if you stay close in the game with Marlon, if I don't know who it is, I ain't calling no names. Water, like I am going to bed with Marlon. One hundred percent. I am going to bed with Marlon. One hundred percent. And that goes my dudes and downs the world right. because this dude teams saying. are prepared. Absolutely. That's it's just what that is. Y'all hit it on the nose. Coaching matters a lot. When we went down to San Antonio, we said we get my city low. We are gonna get the matchup and everybody from the very beginning. And we gonna win this. We printed our shirts out. Said state champions. Y'all seen it? 2016. We had already printed our shirts out. No, so we said wouldn't. this is no. They were 38. No. They had lost some games. Don't disrespect him. Dude can coach. Yeah. Yeah. And the dude, and the dude, the dude can coach. He can coach. But he's not and, Chris Dodd. And, and, and they don't have a 16. And, and truth be told, Duke. I went into that game thinking that they were going to win. Hey, Honestly. I never thought they were going to win. I, and because of Carson Everson, the way he get buckets, like I was hey. like, yeah. You I know what you always said? Let me tell you We said we love Carson. But we're gonna bash off the cars. Let, let, let him do his thing, and he's gonna shoot everything on the outside. Let me tell you why, why I feel like a test all that skill was gonna have a chance. It don't work when you got five guys that's closing that gap. No, out. but hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep right. this in mind. Keep this in mind. You ain't scared of Carson because you've been playing against Carson. All they've been playing against Carson all their life. They that championship game. Yeah, all yeah. them dudes been playing against each other. They not afraid of each other. Nope. They know what this dude they can do. What this dude can do. But we don't fear him, man. That but he but played a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> Dyer, Dyer is just to me. It all comes down to coaching. I don't care how good your teams are. For example, and let's just talk about it. If it was a close game, Cleveland. Oh lord. In Golden State. Oh lord. How in the world <laughs> does LeBron James? And, them, and, and Kyrie Irving and the Misfits and Vegas. beat Golden State. How? Well, Everybody talking. Well, Steve Kerr, he's a, a coach. He's place. a coach. A couple, couple a couple injuries took place. And Two. Then, Who got hurt? And a Andrew suspension. Bogut, a very timely suspension. Very, uh, I'm well, thinking very about it. And then a very timely suspension. So I Three mean, to one. It was seven. I mean, right. on top of that, you know what I'm saying? LeBron took his game to him. Just don't say Steve and Kyrie Kirk took coach. his game. Right. Just say Steve Kerr came. No, 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 I can't I'm, say I'm that. I'm going to tell you something about the game, y'all. For real. Momentum is a motherfucker. That's more than I have. You're going to lose. How are you going to go down 3 1, man? How are you going to go down 3 1 and lose the series, man? When you lose that momentum, it's hard to get back. That's why you got to have tough motherfuckers. Hopefully, I'm living. Hopefully, I'm living 15 years from now when this is a national podcast. Take a win. We bring you back on and you 45. Uh huh. And it's going to be 75. I'm going to always go with the toughest motherfucker. No, you're not. I promise you. I guarantee you, though. I promise you. Tough motherfuckers end up in jail. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> not all of us. You been reading about Draymond Green? We talking about all that keeping people in the hood, keeping people in the hood. Then you go try to beat up somebody's club. Man, that what happened? He was provoked. At the club, it doesn't matter. Tough it's people, it's people it's end up in bad situations, brother. You're not gonna let nobody disrespect you. It's it's why you there? 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 Why
Why are you there? You're in the Olympics. You oh, oh, you just made a Olympic team. I forgot where he was. And he wants to have fun. When you do it yourself, and you're not going, you don't understand this right now. But he went to Michigan State. You don't understand this right now. But they were talking about All of us in this town are 40 plus. When we was 30, same in town. But we know now. We I'm know now. You don't go to certain <laughs> places, man. I'm 48, and I'm still kind of right through. Yeah, but I'm you can't go to <laughs> certain places because certain places at certain time, go we do. know what's going to jump off. Go do you. We already know what's going to jump off. And you'll get that when you... I, 38. I, 38. You got a kid? Yeah, like I do not. Now. Oh, well, you oh, really don't know what you're talking I about. Do. <laughs> <laughs> but you get a child, you're a whole you got your sense of both. Tell him, Mom. Tell him, Mom. I'm telling you, man. Your whole perspective, man. It changes completely. Yeah. Mm. But, but, I, but I'm going to tell you something. Alex, Alex you own something, but you ain't seen it. You ain't seen it like, like it used to be. One of the main reasons why you look at the schedule that I, that I have, you know, Marlon and Stacey have been, been putting these terms together, and, and uh, Paul been around with these events. For the numbers, the reason why I, I, when I came into it as a developmental team back in the gap, remember mm -hmm. Stacy? Mm -hmm. And Stacy would put me say, "We are. I got you some good games right here. Your team gonna look good over here in this area. And then I'm gonna give you one little game right here you can fight in. And your boys gonna be all right. And your parents ain't gonna get mad because your kids ain't gonna get their ass whooped." Right. You know, and we go through. Damn, all this manipulation be going on behind the oh, scenes. Oh, shit, shit, man. It's called the buffer zone. It's the buffer <laughs> zone, baby. And, and you know. I can't stand that shit. I but but you know what it is. But the reason it's true to me is because, 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 because your ass always been on really good teams, Paul. Yeah. Shut up. And I am. And I am. They keep it like that. I am. I you ain't never been on no damn development team. Yeah, 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 he was always in the middle of the road team. And if one player on the team was developmental on that, you bitch and make sure you got kicked off. <laughs> Tell the truth and change the devil. Uh, no, God damn well. You uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, if, if he was on the team, his parents pay their money yeah. and the kids sit there and better not get in the yeah, game. I, work. Yeah, work. I think we did with our kids, though. We we just, we, we, we looked the at Dallas, the Dallas Defenders. The Defenders. Mm -hmm. oh, you the Dallas was a good team that we played together. And it was a Yo. collection of tough guys. <laughs> and I ain't going to lie to you on that. You know, but, that but, could to, but to that come play and have a good What I did, good what I did was put the schedule together. As but a whole team, a lot of that. Dude. Dallas did. Have have have. A I mean, they wore those ducktails, but we came down here. <laughs> And played them tough motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't let the dirty yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but no, we recognize but, 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 no, but, no, but, but back then, but back then, to get tough, you get your ass knocked on the ground and the referee don't call nothing. Parents used to always complain. The referee's always cheating in Dallas. And Kids hey, it's it. funny you mention that. But you that, get that's, used to that's you when they used to the toughness comes you start, up. You start learning, you start learning that it's a different game. Everywhere, because really and truly, after that, going going to Dallas, Dallas got you ready to go to New York. Because in New York, it was a whole lot worse. You know, you know, know what's jungle. funny? You know what's funny? Come on. We, we went to Houston because we felt like that's where the ballers were. And you know what's funny? <laughs> they were not a series, but they were there more. <laughs> How often did Dallas teams hit that road coming to your economy? We thought the balls were in Houston. All the time. All and that's, the time. that's what's so crazy about it. Why I can't figure out why we don't support each other. The better, I mean, because we we all, it, when we play each other, it makes us prepared to go on, anywhere man. in the country. Come, come on, come on. Now. Look, look, I, I can speak on that forever because the biggest thing about it is uh, we'll try to put on an event in Houston a couple weeks ago and try to get all the top Houston teams to play each other. And I keep it 100 for free. I keep it 100. Some of them just I don't I don't get down with it because they run, they find excuses not to play. So they wind up saying, they up, come down. So I'm what they did was the hashtag. So Aaron, Aaron Harrison called me personally on the phone yes, and said, Marlon, what's up? We want to get this together or not? I said, Yeah. He said, Well, I might not be able to do it at this time. So maybe at the end of the day, we what we we had planned on not even doing it in Jimmy X event. Right. We just gonna set it up whereas our 15s played each other, our 16s played each other, and our 17s because yeah. we were the only ones in the city that wanted to play against each other, get a city what they wanted. No hoops, no hoop stars, no BU, no anybody who claimed to be one of the best teams in shoe deal, nobody who claimed to be that. Take the best 
Texas basketball. Didn't say Chris Walker, my dude. I called him on his own show and I told him, I said, "Why are you Doug Dodger of the 21st century? You, you're you're running and you're and you're." He said, they got a little wheel out there. Yeah, he said, "No, I got the button wheel." And I said, "I'm gonna keep talking because I know the people on the show know I'm speaking right now. You can cut me off if you want to." And I, and, I, and I love my dude and I love Rice. Doc dapped him up yesterday. Yeah. We seen him here. And, and BU didn't want to come and play. But don't tell me. Don't tell me that you're the best team in the city or that you should be ranked and be respected as such. And you run it high. Marlon took on those teams. Harrison said, when I called them up, they said, I'm in. Aaron said, you're not going to be able to get everybody in, Will. But you do it, I'm in. Call Marlon. And I said, God damn, Marlon, you said the same shit Aaron said. He said, I don't think you're going to get everybody <laughs> in, but Texas Pro is in. Just spell the motherfucking name right. right. That's why they say they was in. The only reason why they say they was in is because they do that shit wasn't going to happen. No, no, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how it is. I think he's on to something. Listen, I'm trying to tell you how it is. Let me tell you how it is. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you how this event was going to go off, Paul. Okay. It was going to go off just like this. We were going to put together. We were going to put together on, on, on July 2nd, four days before the, the men's live started. We were going to put this on, and we were going to have three games. Right. We were just going to put on two other games in front of them in a facility that would, that would house 600 people okay. just, to, just to put on the event with those top two teams. And we had 16 other teams that wanted to participate, but the logistics and everything, getting everybody in there, and not pe people wanted to make sure that they got their own matchup. But Twitter was just gone crazy to see Texas Pro and Defenders. So it was gonna happen. Defenders getting down? And I'm like, shit. They, they, they super nice. They, they smacked Texas Pro last week. Smack? Smack? I mean, if you lose, I think I can call it whatever I want, right? I don't know. <laughs> You did in fact. You did in fact. Oh, let me let me, let me, let me put some emphasis on this. Let me tell you about this right quick so we can get this right. Low fool. We lost. We lost. Okay. Unfortunately, I wasn't there. But you know what? My guys in the airport, twelve hours. And you know what? They, some of the guys said, "Look here, man, coach, can we play later?" Kendrick Davis said, "Hey, goddamn it, we about to play." And that's, that's all that's it is like to a rhinoceros. So what we did was we went in that gym. And we, we did what we, our purpose was to go in and fucking compete. You know what I'm saying? And when you have our, you know, when you have the best playing against the best, all you can do is compete your ass off. And that's what we did. We I didn't even want to press through the crowd to go watch. We yeah, came out with this. I didn't did even go look. I looked over there, man. It was so many people over there watching the game, man. man. I didn't even go. It was one court. Who, who got all the money for the door and shit? Where the money is? Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's probably why nobody wanted to play. They, no, no, they no. won't get none of their guys. Goddamn, damn, Stacy. Well, well, I'm, I'm still you see my text messages? I know. I'm waiting on my check. But it, it, it's what, this, this, what I'm, this is what I'm going to say. This is what I look at as far as Dallas and Houston is concerned. I, um, I love playing against Dallas team. Love it. Love yeah. it. We don't love this because it's about the competition. I and I know that they're going to they bring something different to the table. Yes, okay? sir. It's unfortunate to me that we can't get that going in Houston because the Houston teams, like you said, they all hide behind the shoot. They let the shoot deal run them, yeah. meaning that they so worried about losing their shoot deal if they lose to another team. They're not concerned about getting the best players against to get the, against the best players so that the city can see who's really the best. And so that these kids can go at each other and see who's really the best. So what I'm gonna do is this. This is this has been my this is my proposal. This is what I came up with. And it's, it's an hour and 23 minutes into the podcast. Is this next year during the live period? Yeah. I want to come up with a concept yes. that is called the eight. Yes. Okay. Yeah, We're going to have the top eight Houston teams against the top eight Dallas teams. Or if we have eight, six, and then Battle two. Of and the then, big six. Then two from Austin. And the deal about it is Battle two or three from of Austin. The big but six. what I want to do is this I want it to be in Dallas first. Time time out, time out, time I ain't trying to sit back time and say, out, I, ain't, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna steal your thunder on that, but I got the, I got the, I, I already got the brackets, the format, he saved on my hard drive. You Paul, have a, Paul, tell this man, you I can have a sponsor. Texas you Round have, Ball, we had it already. Well, well, we had the teams they already. They had Flower Mountain. Ain't Mountain. gonna happen. Why not? Why it ain't gonna happen. Why not? 
because the first question is going to be who get the money? Who getting the motherfucking money? Okay, okay. so I'm, I'm, there we go. Almost second. Almost second. And, and I got. I got, well, I got. I got. You gonna give it to listen, what chair? Listen at this. I, I got a, I got I a got concept you. on that. So everybody's worried about where the money's going to go. Table. I got a concept too. Right, I know what I'm right. talking about. This, this is my deal. <laughs> we are putting this on for the state. We're putting it on for each other. So if it's 16 total teams that's in it, that's whatever the number is, we're going to make that's sure that right. everybody eats. And that's why I'm telling you that I'm not trying to sit back and say it's going to be in Houston first. I'm going to sit back and say I'm gonna I'm be Texas Polo will be in hey, Dallas. Who, who, who counting the money? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick, Stacey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna who counting the money? I count the money, Paul, because you were there. You remember because you were you were here. You were you were you were orchestrating everybody on the DFW side. We had to make sure we had to make sure that done that that none of the DFW teams played against. Against any of the other teams that was from, from Houston. I don't mean to cut you off, but you talking that. about junior high basketball. Well, that, that well, that is, hold on, hold on, hold on. These I'm dudes the now. Format. Hold on. The, the format. format. Don't listen. The, it's, it's been done. Everybody asked me, Stacey, why will did you do it in Houston first? We did it Bob Knight. We did it Bob Knight. Everybody in Houston was pissed off because I did it at Bob Knight. And I said, because I wanted, because everybody, Houston, that, that. Stacey, you were the, one of the main ones who always came down 45. You always came to Houston to play. So the main reason was that Houston don't come to Dallas. I wouldn't do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I have some really, really nice clubs? Nah, can I have some really, really nice food joints? So yes, I came for the competition, but once they went to sleep. <laughs> Once they went to sleep. But we, we did that. The reason we did that, and people <laughs> asked me, and people asked me off. Oh, and I dealt with, I dealt with a lot of referees. You remember the referee? I had a referee, my homeboy, who was supposed to coordinate referees, backed out on me. And we ended up using Dallas refs for that tournament. But but we did that in Dallas already for the for that that reason. And we said, then we'll start switching it up. And we'll go to Houston, we'll go to Dallas, we'll go to Houston, we'll go to Dallas. We can do this, and we can do this regularly. I already think that this city is hot and prime, Marvin, to do this and make this thing happen. The well, first thing will be what what it ain't even eight it ain't even eight good teams in Dallas. Well, that's why I say <laughs> if we need to get two out of the San Antonio Houston area, we can get two from there. But yeah. I, I already know, and y'all already know, certain teams from Houston ain't coming anyway. But I'm gonna tell you this: it might be too true. much. Cause you remember what happened? Now. You put that heat and that fire together in good games, people quit. They start saying, that's too much work. That, that, that's that's where you gotta start calling the heat one nation. I'm ready to put them all on blast. Please put them on blast. You ain't trying to do, put your team out playing against the top competition because what, what are you really doing this for? Yeah. Exactly. You're trying to prepare these kids to play the on the level. highest level right now. now. You can't go to the highest level dunking people. No, not Here, I don't care about your contract. Who you be? You know, you gotta play the top team. This, this is what I'm gonna say for that. Right, this is what I'm gonna say. I want to get there. Whether it's eight out of Houston or six out of Houston, if it's six out of Dallas, I want it to be 16 teams. How many games? If we got, if I'll tell you, I'm gonna run through it right now. If we got a, and I got a copyright on it already. So if y'all listen to this shit, I'm trying to take If you do, I'm gonna say you stole my serve. All right, here we go. <laughs> but there's gonna be 16, even if we had to take the top second tier teams and put them in. Because cool. The top second tier teams can beat some of the top teams. Right. Come on, Mercer beat. We're gonna have we're gonna have 16 teams. You win, you go to the right. You lose, you go to the left. It's straight right. The old bracket one. We're gonna have a Houston team versus a Dallas team right off the rip. A Houston team versus a Dallas right off the rip. So you got the best matchups, and then you can go. It's three games guaranteed. Yeah, over a two day, over yeah, a two days period. Okay. And it's gonna be in the live period. Yeah. It's gonna be yes. a live period. Yes. So, so who are you going up against? Whoever. Listen to me. Well, I've been, I've been, I've been, I'm not I've, talking about. I'm not talking about teams. I'm talking about what event. It don't. Are matter. you going up against in Dallas? In, in Houston. Whatever event does not always have the top. Yeah, you talking about the early? Team. You want to do the yeah. early live? So, so you got to you got to you take a shooting board live. So are you going up against Branch? Are you going up against uh, EMI? Listen to me. Are you going up against both? I, I know you ain't going up against Gasso. It's only no. It's only going to be two days. So somebody's going to be so the early last. Early last. Early last. So you're going up against Branch. Oh, yeah. Branch had it, but so you're going up against Branch. You're not going up against you. Hold on a second. Let me say this. Branch don't. Branch hasn't had Texas Pro in his event, so therefore, I know, and I know a lot of the other Houston teams hadn't been in Branch's event. So what I'm saying is, 
if the, if all the Dallas teams are embracing the event, then we'll, we'll respect that and try to find something else. But if all the top Dallas, if Willie want eight teams, he can have the other 60 teams that's in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Well, the top teams are shoe teams. Then, then, then let's make it happen. If but those they can't, shoe teams are paid, because all the shoe teams are going to play. But the thing is, they can't play. Yeah, I mean, you got to keep in mind the time that they host the event. That first live period this year was PJ. Yeah. Again, we'll work around it. Listen to me. All I want to do is play. Say it. All I want to do is play, and, if we, hey, like and guess what? Too, if we gotta do, if we gotta do it in March or April, yeah, let's do it in March or April. I'm with it. All I want to do is play. I and guarantee I, you, whenever you host that tournament, uh, if you right. have some video footage on it, the coaches gonna buy. They are gonna be there. Oh, WWW yeah, yeah. Bump Pass Away Bump Pass Away Pass Away Pass Film Never Lies Listen to yeah. me It don't have to be in the line Shameless oh, plug all I, Shameless plug All I want to do is play I always want the kids that play in my program to play against the other kids who everybody said I don't know if he just saying that or he really mean that But I know he played I ain't never ran from nobody I've never in the history of Jim Hicks event told him somebody that I won't play you tell me who you match up when you always says, man, put me against whoever you want to put me against, and we'll play. And we've always done it. That's just that's the nature of who I am. That's all I know about is competition and competing and showing kids what the that's real how you used to be. That, and that's not hiding from be. anybody. Yeah. Showing them from anybody and not hiding from no. anybody. So no, we gonna play. You know what I'm saying? So I will say that right Ooh. now. And I'm gonna tell you one thing that, that I that I wish I had an opportunity to do because I have not do. done it. I have not done it before. Is uh, Biggie has always asked me to come to his event in June, at the end of June, and yeah. it's always been something else going on on my calendar. But I always hear about it, and I want to play. Let me tell you, something. I want to play. Hands down, the best tournament held in Dallas. What? Because all of us is in it, and I want to play. It, it, pro skills, it, everybody's in it. Organizational. Organizational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the it's the best. You know, we, that's that's what, why what, what, a lot of times what, what, when we come to Vegas, the last all of our teams the they find yeah, they yeah. find yeah. four. Most of the teams that go, they play in turn, they're prepared going and into that. And to me, that's why if we talk, if Houston, Texas is now the third largest city in the country, why should it not be okay for us to lose against each other and then go out and kick ass on a national level? But we want to do it backwards. Our guys don't want to play each other. And get the yeah, ass whooped all players. over this here United but States. They want to, but then they want to sit back and say, but my kid is deserving to be in this camp or my kid is deserving to be ranked. Right. My deal is this. If you got a top kid in your program that don't put that in everybody and you're not willing to have him and your team compete against him up, drop his ass and drop the fucking respect that you got for your program. Because this ain't, I ain't, a, I'm about that work, dog. Yeah. Bro, you know what I, mean? I, don't know, work. I don't know if it's really just the kids, though. I'm talking about the program. Yeah, but but yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, how they yeah, go to play. They, they, they do, they do, and they, they talking about it. Yeah, that's 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 the the kids, and the parents, the parents the want them to play. The, the parents want to see if they if they are as good as the coaches keep patting their parents why, on the back. And that's why it goes back to what Paul said. Who's going to call them out? Because if you put on the event and ain't nobody showing up, why everybody scared to call somebody out? Paul will call people out. I don't have no problem with that. Paul called me out on Twitter sometimes. He talked that shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Paul, I told you about Jerry, not that I had Marquise and blah, blah. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. Everybody, everybody, everybody cares about this, man. You started it. Don't nobody care about being called out. At the end of the Some day. Do. I'll retweet it. Dude, you Some can, you can call me. I'll give you a prime example. You can call Jazz out all you want. And if Jazz don't want to do it, he ain't going to do it. I, I called him out against the Mustang in the beginning of the year. And then what happened? You want me to show you the uh, yeah, text messages? Show, right. show, right. 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 show them I'm right. Show them I'm right. Show them I'm right. He didn't even kill me. He was like, yeah, he can't do it. Seriously. Yeah. No, he ready to whoop my ass over that shit. When they end up, when they end up putting together and playing? They didn't play. Shit, don't tell he, me. He done. He Let done. Let me tell you something. At the beginning one of the year. One of the reasons, Walter, and you know this. You know this. Over the past 10 years, you had to shoot some kind of shoot deal, right? Constantly. If you lose against Stacey Houston and DJ H5, what your people look at you like? Just be honest. What night you people Say it. Like? <laughs> Say it. Like, why are you losing that team or why are you even playing that team? And what yeah. that really means to them. Yeah. And, it give, and it gives you a lot more momentum. Now, so why do you think? 
these uh, dudes who know they really don't have the best dude. New topic. It's gonna put them against dudes they know is better. Look. No, That's we not. No. You ain't on the mic. Get to it. Get to it. Get to that mic. Why you had a top player, team play against each other? And if you gassing somebody, man, it, it all comes out, man. Re- reality goes up when that ball go up. But they, that's what they don't want. They don't want nobody to see the gas. The point of the game is they don't want to be gas. No, they don't want to. No, they they know. Know. Don't expose the fraud. One thing, one thing I don't say, expose the I fraud. Say about Martin. Every, and I'm not going to say every year, but every two, three years, there's a dude that you tell people about. And we, we keep in mind, if Marlon talk about a kid, the college coach will call and ask me, hey, Stacey, you seen this kid that Marlon talking about? Now, I haven't seen the kid. Well, I may have seen the key. Yeah. But Marlon say he X Y Z. I said, well, shit, Marlon been in the game 10, 15 years. If motherfucker say he could, he could. So I don't need it. Why you got to justify what I say based on? You should know his reputation. You should, you've seen his work. So, but some people will say this. Some people going to come and say, Marlon bullshit. For example, if somebody would have called him and said, if Jerry, Jerry Allen, was better than Marquise, and they have to call Paul. Oh, they have to call Paul Miranda. He the way slapped the fuck. But I've heard, say nah. I've heard Paul say this. I've heard Paul say this. Jared Allen is very, very good. I just don't think he's better than than Marquise. Marquise. That's it. And guess what? That's the way he makes a statement like that. That's something that you can respect and you right. can trust. Right. Hello, I ain't never said Marquise ain't shit, this and that. Right. I sit back and say, I'll take Jerry with Marquise. Right. But at the same time, if we get both of them together, <laughs> <Yeah. you> know, <laughs> that'll work. I remember that conversation once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm okay in a certain in a situation. Okay, like right now they got a big they got a big deal going on. Um, between who's the best in the city of Houston. Pugh said he thinks Kendrick Davis is the best in the 2018 class. Uh, another group has Quentin Grimes being the best in the 2018 class. I don't you know, it's, it's a matter of opinion, but one thing I don't like to do is this. Right now, somebody said, I, I, no, no, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna put this out there anyway. I think, I think we need I to told, ask him a question like right Stacey, now. Stacey, 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 I'm gonna let Stacey in on that. I told Doug Jones a few weeks ago, and he can validate it or not. This, this guy? Doug Jones. I told him, I said, Quentin Grimes will be the number when the rankings come out, Quentin Grimes will be the number one He's player in the city. Game. And the reason the why I said, they said why. I said because he got invited to this camp, he got invited to that camp, he got this offer and that offer. Right. So therefore if you don't run with the masses, you kind of look like you're going against them. So therefore, I said, that's why he's going to be number one. I mean, is he number one? He probably is deserving of it. I'm not going to say that he's not, but what I'm going to say is the young fellow who they got number two at Kendrick Davis has shown everybody in the country that he's a winner. And guess what? Point guards are judged by wins and losses. So if you got a point guard that's been judged by wins and losses, and, they, and, it's, and it's only he one. will be, but he's going to be a winner. And it's, and it's only one team in the state of Texas that we've lost to all year. Mm-hmm. And I think they team this weekend has already, they won it two in this, in this event. And, and, it, and they. Don't ask. No, I'm not. No, no, that's no, what I'm saying. That's what But what I'm saying is, he will always be who he is, which is a point guard. Right. And point guards are want, judged by wins and losses. Yes, Quentin Grimes, he, he's got an opportunity to be several positions. But whatever it is, he's not that right now. Yeah. So therefore, why would, if we always know that he's going to be a point guard and he's winning, why would you hold that against him? That's just, that's just part of what I'm looking at. I watched that dude. You know, hey, uh, look, hold on, Paul. Paul sizes. He's the same size as Isaiah Thomas for the Boston Celtics, and maybe a little bit bigger. But that's when he is nowhere near Isaiah. You can play, you can play back then, and now it's like you know. Quinn, I mean, that boy is not that. Let me tell you something. He's taller than Isaiah Thomas. He's taller than Isaiah. He's taller than Isaiah. Marlon Lowe is lying. Hold on, hold on. Hey, how do you jump off of? That kid ain't no five. The shoe contract. I was answering your question. The kid doesn't get it to Texas to 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 TCU. To TCU. He found out on what day. My wife found seven. She told me. You sit back and said that you watched what kid play in Dallas and in Atlanta. The the Joe dude, Kendrick Davis. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. 
Damn, he just walked by. He, 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 he is. Did. He is five nine. He said he but walk up there. He, he don't have the fame that Isaiah Thomas. Yeah. That, that ain't the same. Him and that other boy that played. But he is five nine. Him and that boy that played for uh, what's the other boy that played for University? And he is trying to trade. No, the little dude. Trey 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 I just mess with Wall over there. Right. Now, when I say this, man, that kid right there, and I don't use this a lot, that dude's special. Very. That, 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 that dude right there, he. Hey, man, let me tell y'all something he, about he, my he history with Kendrick, man. man. Let me tell y'all about my history with Kendrick. Preach. Because I started my, 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 my team developmental. You know, when I when I first brought, brought my twenty for you? my twenty no 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 play against him but but listen from twenty my my son is twenty eighteen class can't be the same age as my son I am and and my 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 group now twenty seventeen Kendrick competed against them because he played up when we when I started this group they were baseball players Ty Simmons Reggie Miller all those kids were on the baseball diamond but they were in the playground with my son in elementary school. From, from from pre-K, and I and, and I put them in the boys' club, Salvation Army. Kendrick played in the hood off of Arlene Westfield and Jensen Drive. We find out that that's that's you know your little brother. But and Kendrick was the Kendrick was the toughest kid to play against. He Mingo had him playing up on that team over there, and Kendrick was a killer. Our teams were first and second, and and Mingo. We never got to play championship in the boys' club. When these kids were eight and nine years old, Kendrick was special then. Right. Going to junior high, everything, sixth grade before he can go. And for some, some reason, they were able to put it. sound like you've been losing to Kendrick for a long time. I didn't say I lost oh, him. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, and, and I'm going to tell you, Kendrick was a winner on a team that lost to us. Understand, we beat Kendrick. What level is he? Oh, damn. He can play high. Uh oh. I'm gonna give you another. I'm not qualified to. I'm gonna give you another one right quick. I'm gonna tell you the story that, that the question that he asked me uh, a week and a half ago. Ooh. We was in South Carolina and we were riding home. We we're riding back to the room in the car. He has his teammates and everything in there. And he's, he's, he asked me to turn down the music. I said, What's up? He said, Coach, I got a question. So, what's the, what's the question? He said, I don't understand what I'm looking at. That's what you mean. Say they got me. They they got all these people. They got certain guys in front of me, and I said, okay, what's going? On? He said, well, I watched basketball university play. Yeah. Their leading scorer up here was Miller Cop. I'm looking at the stats. Their leading guy in assists is Greg Bowie. Why do they have Quentin Grimes ahead of me in the rankings? He passed the eye test. No doubt. Yeah. And I told him, I told him something. He's something the park. And I told him, there it is. And I told him, well, some, by, by, by the way, some things, uh, that's a wizard right there. <laughs> by, the, by the way, I say some things you can't control, and out of, out of respect, you let people, you know, uh, pick. Everybody got their favorites. And it's okay because Quentin can play. Nobody denying that. But why they got it? That's just somebody's, it's, it's their opinion. You beat Sometimes be, just being uh, recognized as in the top five in the city is, is a great delight anyway. But some kids take it, they, he's a kid that kind of takes certain things personal, personal yeah. because he's like, and wear it on the when, do, when do we get a chance to play these dudes? And that's how he's And now built. we ain't going to get a chance to play them. He been you know built what like that. So what do you tell a kid like that? We don't get a chance to play them. And guess what? Don't give me that. Like Hicks and Sebex said, he set them up for their schools to play each other. That ain't the same thing. Yes, no, 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 that ain't no, the same no. thing. So that's that's a valid argument. And I'm, again, I'm not c killing Quentin because, hell, if Quentin could come and play in the same backcourt with him next year, I'm taking it. Hell taking to the yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so and he going to look good yeah, over there, too. Look, yeah, and playing look, with small him. Come on, Quentin. Bad boy come through Houston. Mm -hmm. Again, I asked a certain question. I asked, what level is the kid? Y'all start talking about other stuff. <laughs> I didn't say I'm not. I answered. Hold on. I answered. But I got to get, I got, the reason why I asked because I made the comment earlier that I don't think they'll play the high major. Him, that other Xavier dude. Because they so little. Because they he little. Like Xavier is little. Is TCU high major? It's, it's Big 12. And, it's at the, and you're playing against high major dudes. Yeah, but 
like we said earlier, and a lot of people expect, but it, what we said is a lot of people get off. I made it's not official I mean, to the acceptance. The it's not official to accept to this acceptance. In the last two Hold years. on, they get their ass kicked in a high major conference. Major. Yeah. No, but this is my point. Wins, this, right? this is the deal. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. That's a great situation for him. Absolutely. You want to know why? Why? Jayla Fisher will be gone. Alex Robinson will be gone. Where? He'll be the back COVID. Where are Jayla gone? Jay, I guarantee you, Jayla Fisher will be gone in two years. Why? Oh, to the problem. Okay. That's a. Just watch. Buy it though. Just watch. He nice. Just that watch. Dude, that dude bad. Ain't no more. Just dude. watch. Memphis Warriors. I when I'm telling you, you to shut up the Curry. Curry. <laughs> Marley, <laughs> Marley, you know Alex. Uh, you know Alex Robinson. Uh, you know how tough Alex Robinson is. Uh, he you, follows suit. Josh Perry. Partner. He follows suit. That's Jalen Fisher's squad. I'll tell you that right now. Now, my point is, yeah, another bad boy. Tommy Mason Griffin. Another little dude. Seen the other day in the gym putting in work. Another little dude. Body's totally different. Had that frame. What yeah. I, my question is, he reminds me of the other kid that played for the Hoops. He was on the pitcher. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Went to New Mexico. Jamal Fink. But they're, they, he's not, Jamal is definitely not him. Jamal is a shooter. But they're the same stature. Mm. My question is, because I don't coach him, mm. IQ is going to come in effect. Mm. Smart kid. Um, um, how much weight he can put on. He's a hell of a pass. P passing ain't, ain't a problem. But is he going to be able to score with the way we're suggesting the game is going to, is he going to be able to make it? We still talking about Kim? I can, yeah. I, I question I, that as well. Still slicer, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I question that as well. Mm -hmm. But that dude is a high-level competitor. Like, some guys just figure out how to put it in the basket. Thank you. Thank you. Some guys can, like, really, you. really, like, no matter if it's a fadeaway, if it's a 6 by contestant, they figure out how to put it in. You know what I'm saying? How but to get it but done. But that, you can only do that if the coaches invested in you to do that. Absolutely, I agree. So, so the coach limits what you're supposed to And I'm not saying he's going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no. I know they love him. They already talk about how him and RJ are going to play together. I believe that. In school. So I, they should I understand how they love him. I know that. I want to see, I wanna I see him go to work with, with a loaded squad. I didn't get to <laughs> see. I didn't get to see. I ain't gonna lie. I'm shocked they weren't up there. I can tell you. I can, I can, and I can give it to you. I like to give it to you. I, I like the reason. I like the reason that part of it was done. I'm going to give it to you. From, from my perspective, we've pushed him all year long, and he was always pushed all throughout the year that as the, one of the best guards in the country. Even in the city of Houston, even Jimmy Hicks pushed that. Every time somebody tweeted something, he tweeted Jimmy Hicks with a retweet. Jimmy, Jimmy going to do that and, for any of these. Right, but, but he was winning. And guess what? He was he was a winning, and he was the fourth top. He was the fourth tallest player on the High team. team. Yeah, the fourth tallest player. Oh, so he's doing. Sanders. So the thing is, Sanders. So so with that being said, nobody gassed him up to start talking about. It. And all of a sudden, all the tweet, all the all the tweets from Jim Hicks all of a sudden stopped when he started playing summer basketball. Yeah. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep Man. it 100. All of a sudden, they stopped. Shot, shot, no, shot, ain't shot, no, ain't shot, no, shot. Ain't no shot. I'm about to keep it. I'm going to tell you what, what got him. All the tweets stopped about when he started talking about he the best at this, he about to that. When he started playing some ball, it stopped. And all this pushing, 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 it stopped. Because guess what? So when the coaches didn't start calling him, these high major coaches in the schools didn't start calling him, it's like, damn, they were showing me love before. What's going on now? Yeah. So he didn't have a whole lot of offers. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though he deserved it. He right. was pushing, pushing, pushing and pushing but now all of a sudden it's not going on. So now he's like, all these other kids are getting invited to camp. Yeah. Now I come to Texas Pro, and guess what? I ain't got no offers. I ain't going to no camp. So everybody tell him now, you should, you you made the wrong mistake by going to Texas Pro. Well, no, I what, you, nobody got love for Death Row? <laughs> <laughs> nobody got love for Death Row in, in, in the East? Oh, <laughs> Y'all that don't know, Honey is speaking right now. <laughs> honey is, is talking. She is showing her colors. It's still crying. It's still dumb. Y'all said he was nursing. <laughs> so, uh, but what I'm saying is, going back to it, they told him, and I told him, no, no, you ain't making a mistake by coming over here. What you did was you came over here to have an opportunity to get better, to showcase that you are, you'll be prepared for wherever you go. So what happened was all these other guys that haven't played anything and hadn't won anything else, they're getting offers. 
So then he started talking about, well, where am I at? So now for when he, when he uh, Corey Barker, who was at TCU, got the job, he's really close to the family, and Corey loved him. So he's like, look, man, this is a steal for us. Mm -hmm. We coming in, we taking this. And so he went in because with the family, he, he accepted the offer. Uh, he took his, basically, with family. Uh, him and his mom were together again. Yes, sir. They, you know what I'm saying? And so relationships, not politics. No doubt. And so that's what that was about. And could he play a high major school? Yeah. I mean, hell, man, I got a kid that on the team right now, Jace Peppers. He's number 14 in the city. I've been telling people all this. He's one of the top five guards in the country. He's the best shooter in Houston. But guess what? Nobody pushing him. Nobody saying this. Nobody saying that. And guess what? He played for me. And guess what? I don't. I call a few college coaches and I tell them. And it, it's like when I tell you something, now all of a sudden you need somebody else to validate what I said. I had five, fifteen Division One guys started the like, Division One games last year. I, I coached more pros in the last seven years than anybody else in the state of Texas. So when I tell you something about a player, you don't listen. Fuck you. Well, that's how I look at it. Damn. You no, know, I'm just saying. Because I'm put, I'm trying to put, check my resume. I'm trying to, put, I'm trying to put kids in the best situation. And not only that, when I'm trying to put them in the best situation, if I tell you about a kid, that means I'm trying to help you as well. And so when you got to run behind and, and double check me, and fact check me, when I got probably one of the best resumes in the state, when it comes down to players, and ain't none of them transferred, whoever transferred, transferred up. And, and still made it. Daniel House transferred up from Houston to a and made first. They don't talk about that kind of stuff. Man. And he signed a two-year deal today. You know what I'm saying? Two-year. So, Shut up so, to coaching. So, so what I'm saying is, no doubt, no doubt. So what I'm saying is when I call coaches and they don't listen, it's shame on you. That's how I look at it. Shame on you. Now they all over Jace Ferris. Yeah. And I sit back and I sit back and they ask Mark me now. Know what he's they, about. they jumping on Jace Ferris right now and I'm good with that because he is real. Who he is, what you see is who he is. Okay. But I sit back and I tell my sit back and laugh. I said, man, y'all still sleep on some of these. Y'all, y'all see this six eight kid that named John Walker, who's really like a three, Cadillac. a space of four at best. It can Cadillac. put that ball on the floor. Got one of the best fields in the game. Smooth. And y'all just looking at people that just put that ball in the hole. But this dude can get it. You know what I mean? They gonna wake up. Who? That's how he Who's better? The big kids you're talking about, Fabian White, Kevin Sanders. They are. Oh. First of all, first of all, if I had if I had to start if I had to start a team. Are they all the same height? I'm just asking. No, John Walker's six eight. Marquise must okay. not be in the picture for Fabian. Yeah. Mark <laughs> Why you say that, Paul? Oh my god. Oh, that state championship game? What? Where was he at? That was supposed to be the difference maker right there, man. Yeah, a little old. Yeah. First, first of all, John John Walker is six eight and he's a he's a he's a slim, he's a He's about as slim as all yeah, two. He should yeah, really be yeah, playing yeah, like strong on Swift. He, he should really be playing Earth. on the perimeter three four. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. But he has to play five with us because of that. The good thing about him playing in there with us is, is making him tougher. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? So when he goes to the next level, he has somebody to play at that level on the inside, then it's going to enhance who he is. Right. So you know. Uh, be scared. But it's hard. Right. It's so hard. who are you saying is the better player? Out of who? Uh, uh, Fabian White. Well, you, you don't have to answer now I'm, because they're, they're three different guys. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not even. Yeah, 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 we can stop now. Apple, orange, pear. You know, you know, Apple, orange, pear. Kevin. You know what I'm saying? Favorite I like the Kevin dude. I, I saw him like earlier. Oh yeah. He gets up now. So break that down. Break that down. Break that one down, Kevin. Because the reason why I asked, I just got a text from a coach. I got to go watch both of them play. Kansas is looking at both of them, and I got to let Coach, and I don't know him. So, I think Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels is a deep, you say what? He say he's I not a Kansas. Kansas. I don't think he's a Kansas type. Kevin guy. Samuels, no, 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 he's not, not a Kansas not type of guy. He's he's a, he is a defensive a, type of guy yeah, exactly. that you're going to have to be really patient with an offensive end. Yeah. And you gotta hope uh, the, the true, the best defender, the best defensive beings rebound out of that area. He yeah, doesn't rebound really out of this area really he well. Rebound in this area. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, and he doesn't have any, he doesn't really have any post moves. So, when he comes down to an offensive game, Fabian White is, is he's Maybe far out from it. Yeah, he's more polished. He's, he's more polished. I just saw him on one night. Yeah, yeah, one night. He's more polished. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that was a tough one. 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 That was a tough
<laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm going as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he coached by a good, good, good Co- dude. Hey, what's my man name? Martinez is so good. We got love for you. 12, uh, Marcus Garrett. He played 12 15 in the uh, uh, them blew up, them, them, uh, Rangers. Yeah, he played 12 15. 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 What about Court three. Court Doug, three. Duggerville. Duggerville. Court three. Court three. Court three. Court three. Yeah. yeah. Coach Seth just confirmed he'll be there. Hey, so, so I'm going to see my matchup, man, because I'm a point guard. guard I'm just, what, what point? My matchup, I'm going to see tough. is Texas Pro against Dallas Showtime. Is that, are they going to get to me? I say they set it up. Who that? No, no, they're going to get to me. Wait, the bracket set up, they, they want to see you. I put the way the bracket set up. I shouldn't be doing this, man, but. You know, I got this generation of goddamn that income, so. man, because yeah, I, I be, yeah, you know, it. putting this up, and every time, if, if I spend this much, I'm, my wife get a new Lexus every other season. Swag. And 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 all I get is a headache with these boys on this basketball team, man. So I need to make my money when I can, y'all feel me? Because I'll get, my fuck off money goes <laughs> on these kids. My wife fuck off money go to Lexus, just and Gucci, and, and everything else. I'll let you want to hear this. But she already know. I mean, she tell me. She say, you know, she we good for Vegas. That what she tell me. We good for Vegas, cause she know that she gonna go and she black jacking. And if she show up, like Marlon said, he didn't see my wife at the game against Mean Street. My wife say, shit. She done put enough money out there. My parents got a problem. God damn it. Check her bank statement. Check up my statement. She's there at the game. My wife just texted me and said, getting prepared for Vegas is stressful. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not sure how much money you going to spend when you get out there on them damn keys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, look here. I, 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 I get my wife a separate vehicle. I get my wife a separate vehicle. We go down there, we have a good time. But but I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting off my point. What I'm saying is, you just asked about Texas Pro now it's Showtime. This to me is out to it. Now I'm not putting this on my team, and I'm not I'm not Michael Jordan. So I ain't getting caught up in none of this here. Well, you I think it's coming like a used car sale. <laughs> well, watch this here. I'm gonna put something on it. I'm gonna put something on it. Texas right. Pro, and 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 I like Marlon. I'm gonna let everybody know Marlon, my dude. I ain't got no problem with te- with Showtime. Man, but hold on. To it. I got a hot <laughs> staff. I still <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Oh, you finna freestyle too, then. Oh, no, no. All right. If you think that, if you pass the mic, pass the mic. I've been you get what you trying to say. I've been sensing on podcasts, but I don't think the game is gonna come out. I don't think the game is gonna come out like Alex said. Appreciate it, Stacey. I don't think the game is gonna come out like Alex said, and I got I got something to back it. I just, I, I, I just want to see the matchup. I, I would I love like to see the matchup. I like Levi, whatever. Levi I, I, I like him. I like him too. I like and I like Kendrick. I want to see that matchup. I, I can't even lie to you. That'd be good. Cool. I like yeah, so I like that game. No, I, I like that game, and I, 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 I give I give I give I give Showtime thirteen points. Hey, love, we coming up. Listen to me. Listen to me. I take. The only way I take Showtime is if they have 13 points. Hey, the spread Grilla is Nation. Texas Pro by 13. Gorilla Nation, that's the honey talking over there. Yeah. Look over that 13 yeah, point man. thing right now. All right. I don't know how much time we got. About right? four minutes, three minutes. But I got to ask y'all something. I, I, mean, got, I don't I know what game. president it was. It might have been, been Bush. It might have been Obama. Game. I got the game. Why are we so dependent upon the oil? Now, I, same thing I'm asking right now. Why are we so dependent upon these shoe contracts? Why are we so dependent on Marinate on that because that might be the game. Game. Said 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 game. Game. Because That's these summer coaches think it validates their Why are we so program dependent and their success. Like I said, then what we need to start doing, like, like those politicians start thinking about other ways to, to make money or make things happen. For our country, right Texas now. Pro Defense came up with it already, <laughs> and and actually, I, actually, I did. I'm talking I about overall. Let's yeah. do. I ain't talking about a one or two event. Bro, I'm it's talking not about a one or two overall. event. It's about putting together teams. If you know that your program is solid, 
and Texas Pro know that their program is solid. And you got solid programs. I said we just put this together the, the people, the people who put this solid program. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much, how much are these college coaches selling these these books together for? They give out T-shirts for kids to fill out all their information, and they're they, they gonna sell. They gonna, the kids get a six dollar T-shirt for giving their SAT scores. Their parents' information, their cell phone information, their school information, their name, their middle name, their firstborn, if they have it coming. They give all that information. They get a $6 t-shirt. They put all that information in a magazine and sell it to a college coach for $600. Yeah, everybody, every, everybody. What they got to do with the shoe contract? Listen to what I'm saying. Let me say this. Take, let me you say can this. take control of let your let program. Let me tell you how we take control. Where you going to play. If you, tell, if you tell somebody, just like everybody showed up, Marlon was in another state when he said he was going to play Aaron Harrison defense. And everybody showed up at the gym before Texas Pro showed up at the gym. They were in the gym like they were coming to see a Floyd Mayweather fight. God damn it, me, if you show, if you say that you're gonna bring the best heat, you bring Marcus Garrett to go come to the gym and he gonna play against TJ Starks or whatever the case may be, and you put it on yourself, the gym don't cost the court don't cost but $65. Problem, let me tell you, I've been doing events for a long time and so are you. You and me both. And Marlon will tell you this. When Marlon hosted the event, when we came down, we got a deal. We worked a deal out. And everybody, and this is just black folks. That's yes, nothing to do with. I, I agree. This is just how, this is how we, we are right now. Yes, sir. And what I'm going to say is this. In order for us, the, the idea that Marlon has is a perfect idea. I think it's a perfect time. The, the, the thing about it is you have to put together a group that is powerful enough that has the same views, the same <coughs> ideas, true. the same goals. <coughs> we did it in Dallas. As long as you're not great. We, we did it in Dallas. But the, but the problem that, that, that we can't be afraid to go against the white boy. At the end of the day, today Gasso is 18. Ten, you eight. take Marlin team out. Filet Mignon. You take Basketball University. You take Dallas Showtime. You take Pro Skill. You take all them dudes out. And you oh, say, I'm going to take 36 teams. Guys, I'm going to put them go. over across the street. And they got these These eight teams who are the draw, they're going to get 10 or 15% off the top of what's going on. The rest going to go into If you can find somebody to facilitate that, but the problem is we did this in Dallas. But what we had to do we had to get an outside source that don't look like us to facilitate the money. I believe and to make it work. It's been that's because that's nobody would trust us doing it. And when you find can, 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 can I share something with y'all, man? When I when I told you this, the show that I'm at H Town. When I told everybody that the event was going to be free, I didn't want to give everybody the details and the specifics on it to see if the event was going to go down. I had sponsors that were going to pay that were going to pay me to put the event on. And I said to Marla and I said to Aaron, this new y'all, I'm going to split the money with you. Because I'm going to get paid putting this together. I done did the work. I'm going to get paid for this. I'm going to get paid. They're going to put on the event. I ain't got to pay for the gym. That's what I feel like hearing right now. That's man. what it's about. I'm trying to tell you, dog. What does that have to do with <laughs> these these shoe contracts and us being so dependent upon why we got to play for the I shoe? Just, first of all, you I need you need a shoe company because you got guys that want to travel around the country. You got certain guys that want to be on a certain level. It's expensive. Americans. But it's, it really it's ain't expensive. about the money because the money. Correct me if I'm wrong, Marlon. The money, and what people get mixed up, when you get a shoe deal and you get money, they're not paying you, they're paying you to go out and wear their brand. They're not paying you to spend it on the team. That's by your choice. You don't have to spend that money on the team. That's your money to build their brand. Give you enough money to make it to their events. That's it. So, so if you got a kid that's a McDonald's All-American type, a Jared Allen type, if Marlon doesn't go and get with a, with, with a, with a situation, that allows him to help that kid and make it easier for other kids, 
then Marlon going to be like he probably is, wifey on him already too, because he's still spending extra money. You know, to the you, anybody that's doing this is spending extra money. So at the end of the day, you need that little bit to help out. Now, some people lose track of what it is because some people don't have a job. <laughs> some people don't go to work. Comes there, huh? So since they don't go to work, they live off that. So that money they get that come in, instead of getting to the kid, they paying the light bill. They paying the water bill. So now you doing all that. Now you next it's summer. It's a bunch of them. Okay. And we gon' we gonna end it right there. We, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use it. Next time we get on that one, I wanna come to Houston talk That's about that. That's a whole other topic. That's a hell of a topic. I will come down to Houston to talk about that one. Yeah, yeah, we still don't want to get you down. Now, are you still with the niggas? Yes. Right, after this year too, right? It's all negotiable. Okay, so you you at the table for contract renegotiation time. Right. right. All right. So now I need to ask you then. Mm -hmm. How was that venture for? You last year at these two countries. I mean, how did that help all your kids out? But that's how it was good. Well, uh, no, seriously, last from your year, perspective. When I first left Nike, uh, I had an op I had an option to go either Nike or do Adidas. Mm -hmm. um, and Chris Rivers for Adidas offered me something, and it was basically a gentleman's agreement. It was a handshake, right? And he did everything he said he was going to do. Yeah, no, I did everything I said I was going to do, and like there was Chris. no contract in hand. So it was, uh, everything worked out really well that year. This year right here, uh, they've done everything that, you know, everything was good. The only thing downside of it this year was, uh, unfortunately, they didn't have a camp this year for our kids to go to. And that kind of, that kind of hurts from that perspective. But. And I wasn't trying to throw no bags in there. No, I just wanted to know how did that really. We good. I look, at like this. I look at it like this. We still the best team in the city of Houston. We one of the top teams, if not the best team in the state of Texas. Okay. I look at it like that, and it's not about to me. It's you want in the GMI? Why is Aaron right? Harrison texting me right now? Why we uh, I want to be heard that statement you just made. Uh, no, uh, we came back from South Carolina to play a show. That's right, y'all was in. Yeah, that's right. He yeah. texted me right. too. Yeah, he What's that? Go to sleep, Aaron. Oh, yeah. We didn't even know you were listening to us. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron, I want to say, and he don't take it back. Aaron, 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 I said, we're going to play, we're going to do a part two. Shout out I to the boy Aaron Harrison, dog. You know, I still love you, man. That game don't count if you wasn't there, bro. I understand that. I'm just saying it don't count. I understand this. This is what I would say. Asterix. 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 My respect for Aaron Harrison. It's just like tremendous because what people don't realize is Aaron Harrison when he first got in, he used to be in my organization. Oh wow! Yeah. And the twins used to play at the with me at the team. Houston. Houston. I I had I wound up shutting team Houston down. They was gonna play, but I told them the tent that name couldn't be used anymore because I didn't want that to fall back on me from a liability standpoint. Right. That's how the Houston defenders started. Yeah. So Aaron okay. Harrison, I know who he is. He's from Baltimore. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's got that type of mentality where he's going to compete and he's going to let you know what it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the same way. I'm going to compete, compete, and I'm going to let you know what it is, and we're going to go at it. That's why when he asked me about playing, it's goddamn right. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's what it is. I can't say no to another competitor. It makes me look like I'm, I'm not who I say I am. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why we come out of out there not who they say they are. Man, look, that's hey, it ain't, it ain't hard to find them if you're, if you're looking for them. They don't I mean, want to find them. The bottom line is, who gonna sit up there and call them out? I don't need to call them out because I, did. I, I was saying I don't need to call them out because everybody knows who I am. Everybody knows where I am and how to get at me. And if you want to play, I'm there. If you want to play, only thing, I'm, only person I'm not gonna play is if you're a small time team or you're a mediocre team and you're just trying to get a name off me. I'm not playing you. I have no reason to do that. But why not? Why the hell? Waste a hundred dollar chance, man. Wasting my time. You're too close to the mic. Wasting my time. If I'm too close to the mic, you don't want to hear what I'm saying. You good right there. <laughs> You're good right there. I, I didn't even know when part two happened, man, so I could be in the building. Part two might happen right after the library. And the bottom line is, people understand, we ain't got to be playing just because college coaches yeah. can't come out there. We playing because we Hello. want everybody to see what's going on. If Hello. the college coaches want to see it, like most said, they can log on to one pass away. That one pass play. and purchase. But we playing. That's just like, I'm going to tell you just like this. If we can set it up. Yeah. Whereas it's us and Jazz, or us and uh, Big E them have to play one time uh, in the first couple of days, the last day, or Big E them, you know what I'm saying, the last time, we'll play. 
I have no problem with that as long as we know ahead of time so I can keep my kids' minds locked in right. so they don't think that the season is over with. Yep. We can get it done. We'll make it happen. And, the, and, and, and when we play against Dallas, if we beat Dallas teams, I expect for our guys to be ranked high on a state on a statewide level. Well, wait, who who you talking about? You talking about names are the white boy? I'm talking oh, you talking about Texas Hoops? It's just anybody. I'm talking about for whoever. But the only one, the only one, I shouldn't say y'all, <laughs> but the only one, that's the only one that people feel like. It's rather. I mean, what they say. Oh, hold on a second. Now, I understand that, but you know what? Why does I, ranking I and where you are matter like. I can't. Go, I'm sorry, go ahead. Cut you come. Why does, why does Kendrick Davis have to be. That's easy. Validated. That's easy. That's by, easy answer. By. By easy answer. You somebody else's opinion. Easy somebody answer. else's opinion. Easy answer. What? Because the college coaches value that. They don't listen to us. They look at numbers. And most of the guys, most of the college coaches, they probably, I don't know if they, they're not very, they, I don't know what they're good at. Some of them aren't very good at evaluating. So what they have to do is they have to look at a number. They have to look at a number to justify why they're telling this kid, that their coach, they should, they should recruit this kid. Yeah, but Lamar, that's, that's a shortcut. At the end of the day, they really get down and evaluate who fits and who don't fit. You and I both know that. They miss all the time. That's I'm, not why they don't, I'm not saying they don't get it right. right. I'm not saying they don't get it right. But what I am saying is when you get those guys in those situations and, and they get to certain situations, that whole staff, by the time they say we're going to take that kid, the head coach saw him. Head coach had a part in, in deciding that that kid was going to come there. It gives them a... It gives them a, 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 a the opportunity to see a kids from a broad perspective gives them a a, pe a, a measuring stick, basically per se. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna go out. I believe it's not all on the A. It's not all on the college coach. It a lot has to do with the AAU coach and the mindset of the picture that they paint for the kid. The coach doesn't get to see him all the time. And like y'all said, let's just imagine that kid didn't play bad the second game today. Mm -hmm. his, his whole life changes. Look. But we know right now, I, I'm gonna in the spotlight like, like that, he, he's really not good enough to play at that level. Absolutely. That's an every night okay. deal. Here comes Lil Penny. Here comes Lil Penny. I'm going to let this ego talk for you. Right. Uh-oh. What's up, brother? I feel, I feel that every year I've had one of the top players in the state of Texas come out of my program. I second that. I second that. Why should I ever have to validate myself for any college coach? If you want, I've always had players that go to your team and they've all helped teams to win. Not just sit down, they've helped teams to win. So every year I would think that coaches immediately look in and say, who is playing on Texas Pro? We know we have somebody that we have to see and might be good for our program. At whether it's a low major, mid major, or high major, I am not letting a no low major kid go to a mid major program and sit the bench. Exactly. I'm not letting a high major kid go to another high major program mm -hmm. and not get what he needs when he can go to a mid major plus program or another high major program player and play and build a resume. So if a college coach do not know the history of the Texas Pro brand and the history of Marlon Lowe, that's that's how I feel. Every year you should be knocking on my door. You should send me an email. You should send me a text saying. Who do we need to keep our eyes on? But if you do not do, do that, then guess what? You have not, you, to me, you aren't validating your job. If you don't do that and, and call them all in love every year or see who I got, you ain't validating who you are or validating what you're trying to do. What because if, we got what, winners. What if they don't have your contact, don't have your information, have relationships? That's their Because a lot of that stuff is based on relationships. And, guess and what? if they feel like they can get the kid or not. I ain't hard to find. One of my good buddies is Talvin Hester. Talvin came at me, and, and it took it took Talvin three years to get a kid from me. You know what I'm I had to find out who he was, make sure he is who he is, so that when, when something go down, I know I can trust him. So if you want to get with me, you gotta don't. I'm not coming here kissing your ass. This is your job to make sure that you find the best player that best fits your coach and the system he in. Because all you want to do is help to put yourself at a at a higher level. Amen. So therefore, if I got True. if I got players that's gonna help you to get to a higher level. How the fuck are you not calling me? You know what I'm saying? You make no sense to me. Every year, we ain't never had the number one player in the city. We ain't never had the top two, three in the play in the city, but we always have kids that outlast everybody else's and who can be coached when they arrive on campus and know how to win because that's what it is. But if a college coach don't call, 
fucking hey, tripping. So, so I know who are gonna call and they're gonna be the ones who get them. So the guys who doing the ranking, you basically say don't know what the hell they doing. Nah, I ain't tripping on the rap. I'm talking about the college coach right now. But when it comes down yeah, to the but if you take you had the number one player in the city of Houston, we have it. We have it. In the city of Houston, we have it. And there's all the ones that stick. My, my Majority stick. of us stick. stick. But that said something about my the stick. My, that, I'm my talking to you, Mr. Heath, when you run Houston. My stick. You might want to adjust your shit. I would say this. I, I would say this. I would yeah. say this about Jimmy. Jimmy ain't gonna like this. He's gonna get mad. But I would say this, and I, I don't have a problem with with the number of players that I've had come through the city that played with me and I've coached over the years. If on a national level nobody's talking about them kids, but I tell you, yo, Jimmy, this kid can go put him up there. Regardless of what anybody else says, and if this kid go out there and do it, that validates you, that gives you more juice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't run with the masses. Yeah, but everybody can't stand alone. But I'm guess what? Not, and not, that's why I don't yeah. be tripping. That's why I don't be tripping. My guys, that, that's just how it is. I don't be tripping. I talk to I talk to Doug, I tell Doug, Doug, this is, this is, this is, this is. And at the end of the day, that will be another topic. At the end of the day, he doesn't have the final say. You know what I'm saying? Because that ain't that ain't his company. You know what I'm saying? And I respect it all. 215. I respect it all, but I'm just saying. Just up, love. But it is what it is. You sleepy, man? Man, I'm only doing 215. The man, sure. that's part one <laughs> two. two. I want to work on part three. I want to I want to thank Doug Jones for coming out, Paul Miranda, Stacey Houston, right. and Will Harrison to join us on the summer. Summer. We're gonna man. make sure that you know. Hopefully, y'all listening got a lot out of this. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it's it. about as long as we done talked and went over, but uh, over quite a bit. They wanted to say thirty minutes. Man, we gotta do this in Vegas, man. <laughs> we gonna oh, we, oh, we gonna bring it to Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This show, this Vegas. show will be locked and loaded. It'll probably be up in about two days. It could be up tomorrow. But we want to be, you know, we might have to go through some and filter some things for a minute. Yeah, five yeah. up already, but we good. So log on to the summer the summerpodcast.com. Follow us on Twitter at the summer at the summer pod. Uh, Everybody get for y'all uh, you know the Twitters and everything out there. I get I get this thing out. <laughs> Definitely follow your boy at Moneyball underscore AP. That is Alex Pugh at Moneyball underscore AP. Hit that follow button, man. I might not follow you back, but uh, <laughs> definitely gave you some good conversation. <laughs> Yeah, you can follow, uh, follow me at D Jones eighty three oh one. The Heat One Nation D A H E A T the number one nation. Get your boy up. And I got all them six shooters and Uzis and everything. Call you need somebody called out of Holla. <laughs> Throw it up <laughs> in the air. Follow, if you want to follow Stacey Houston to go to I Play Hoops. <laughs> And also, you can go to at DJ H5 report. That's that Heat One Nation, baby. Throw it up there. Man, I'm wild. I don't give a damn if you follow me or not, man. Because I don't even know my Twitter. Man. Look up Coach Real and that one. Yeah. And that honey yeah, talk. Well met. And you already, yeah. And I'm you always up? and I'm always rolling. If I'm not with my wife, I'm still with my honey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Shout out me at uh HS Whole Foods on Twitter. Uh this podcast is brought to you by One Pass Away. www.onepassaway.com. Hashtag Film Never Lies. We want to give a special shout out to Dallas, Texas. Marcus. All the basketball players and teams they have, I know they ain't scared. And I'm gonna give a special shout out to the Houston Defenders and Texas Pro for doing what they did at the Houston last week. I missed it, but I heard it was a joyous occasion. Wish we could get more like that, but some of y'all are just some scared ass directors. Shout out to Daniel House signing that two year deal. Yeah, right boy. Throw it up in there tonight. Appreciate you, love that, man. Yeah, that was worse than the 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 man. Yeah, that was worse